All right, now we are going to talk about um, using the independent and dependent variables in a question to create meaningful hypotheses, hypotheses in order to develop a foundation in the scientific inquiry process. So, first we've made our observations. Remember, they're qualitative or quantitative. Then we've asked our scientific question. Remember, it goes, how does blank, which is our independent variable, affect blank, which is our dependent variable? Now, we need to make our hypothesis, and our hypothesis need to include our independent and dependent variables. So, what is a hypothesis? Well, a hypothesis is a proposed answer to a scientific question. Remember, scientific questions are testable, measurable, and show a cause and effect relationship. So if that's the case, then our proposed answer would also have to show a cause and effect relationship. Um, and before we do a good hypothesis or write a good hypothesis, okay, we need to identify the independent and dependent variable from the scientific question. Um, or from the scenario. And then we need to perform some background research. So we're going to research our question and try to figure out, learn as much about our variables as possible, and try to make a good guess, okay, a good guess at what the cause and effect relationship might be. Um, a hypothesis is written in the form of a statement, not a question. Okay, statement, not a question. So when we write a hypothesis, like I said, it needs to be a proposed answer or prediction to a question. It has to show that cause and effect relationship with our independent and dependent variable. And it needs to be written um, in a way that can be tested using if, then, and because. So if the independent variable, then the dependent variable because of whatever you research. So if what, you, what you're doing to the independent variable, then whatever think whatever you think will happen to the dependent variable because of whatever you researched and found out in your research. So we're going to practice. So remember our independent variable is the cause, our dependent variable is the effect, and our hypothesis predicts what cause or what effect will, the cause will have. So if a sun gets less sunlight so whatever we're doing to the independent variable, less sunlight, then they will grow less, that's the dependent variable, because plants need sunlight to produce food, part of our research. Okay, here's another one. If a person eats more fiber bars, then they will use the bathroom more regularly because fiber is good for your digestive system. So our cause is the fiber bars, our effect is the amount of times you use the bathroom, and our research indicates it's because our digestive system likes fiber. So comparing good and bad hypotheses, um, a bad hypothesis, if an athlete drinks Gatorade, then, he will, then that will make him jump higher. Well, you haven't given me because, okay? So... And if you look at our question, does Gatorade have an effect on how fast an athlete runs? Well, does this address how fast an athlete runs or how much he jumps? It, this one is about how much he jumps, so that's a bad hypothesis. A good hypothesis for, would be if an athlete drinks Gatorade, then they will run faster. See, it addresses our variables because Gatorade makes you less dehydrated, part of our research. So check for understanding. So in your scientific notebook, uh, write an appropriate hypothesis for each of the following scientific questions using those three criteria of a good hypothesis. Don't forget to include the because or why you think it's happening. So one question is how does playing video games affect a person's intelligence? And the second one is how does reading daily affect a person's score on the map test? Um, I also would like you to rewrite the following bad hypotheses so that they are better phrased. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ask you to pause and do this in your scientific notebook. Okay, so writing a good hypothesis from this, you might say, if I play more video games, then I will have a higher intelligence because video games um, increase your hand-eye coordination period. So that might be a hypothesis you have here. It 
takes my independent variable, it takes my dependent variable, and it gives a y based on some scientific research. How does reading daily affect a person's score on the MAP test? Well, independent variable, dependent variable, and some research. Um, if I read five books per week, then my score on the MAP test will be much higher because reading increases your ability to remember things, period. So again, independent variable is in there, dependent variable is in there, and your reasoning based on research. So rewriting these ones. Will fertilizer make my long row? Remember, hypotheses are not questions. So in order to do this, you would say, if I use fertilizer on my lawn, then my lawn will grow more because fertilizer gives my lawn nutrients. Pepsi is better than Coke. That is a hard one because it's not necessarily testable. It's more of a preference. So it's really hard to test that. So I don't even know that you could fix that one. All right, so let's practice. So for this one, I'm going to have you do them on your own, and then we're going to talk about them in class. I'm going to move my face. Okay, uh, You're going to write a good hypothesis for each of the following scenarios in your scientific interactive notebook. Don't forget to write them in if, then, because. Okay, You can go ahead and pause the video, because otherwise it will end, and you will miss these questions. So go ahead and pause the video now and do these. Okay, thank you very much. That's all for writing hypotheses.